Oh, here we are, boys. All the right, final these moment. Guys are here. It's all kind of come down to this. We got Zico and Snuts, both fully best in slot out. They had the time, the preparation, the mindset to get into this tournament. They've made it here. Each player concurrently has five ears. Snuts with five ears, Zico with five ears. The winner will have six and $50,000. Mage versus Warlock here. We got the Arena Grandmaster and that Ice Reflector equipped from Snuts. Dual Flag has been dropped, and we're about to get into the Grand Finals today, as fanned. Absolutely. This thing is going to be massive. I cannot wait to see how this thing goes. Imagine they draw. It's like a sapper that kills them both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, we have the we curse go. of tongues coming out we have the corruption to follow snuts doing what he does best and running away with that positioning zico has to chase him down in a super long duel the the warlock is going to get more and more and more and more value and zico knows this i wonder if zico is going to go for a pet kill strategy or if he's just going to try to just kill snuts in a burn strategy fireballs being casted with with uh, the curse of tongues it's a long cast time for not much damage arcane explosions coming out and conic Holds the pet already to half HP and snuts popping that resto pot, which does share cooldown with other valuable potions. Yeah, big resto pot right there, trying to uh, trying to stop everything. Curses, everything, the whole nine yards. Curse magic, everything. Uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge in this duel. So hopefully it pans out. You know, going the decision to use that instead of using uh, like a health or a mana pot. Yeah, there's the uh, Goblin Rocket Helm from Zico. Zico's looking great so far. Still two blocks, plenty of consumables, flasks, teas, but so does Snuts. There's the Death Coil, no block or reflect on it, but there's still time. Ice block on the Fear. Snuts knows he has to get it done that way. There's another Thorium Nade. It lands on the pet and the Snuts. The pet goes down. That's pet number one, Snuts. Uh, sleeping Zico with the Magic Dust, fell doming the second pet. Huge sleep, huge sleep. It allowed him to be able to cast the pet without worrying about a counter spell. So let's see, Zico is probably going to try and separate and maybe he's going to try and kill this pet right here. I'm thinking Z Zico goes for two pet kills. And if Snuts isn't careful, that second pet will go down and then the mage will have, uh, you know, a chance in this. And that's exactly what we are talking about. If both pets die, the warlock is a lot weaker. It's just hard sometimes to kill that second pet. Zico, if there's going to be someone to do it, it's going to be him. Another rank one frostbolt lands. Snuts trying to devour those buffs off of him with the pet dispel. Zico getting the remove curse on himself as well. Health and mana have been pretty much equalized. Zico has one block remaining. Snuts, no Feldom left. There are tons of consumables, though, from both ends. And Snuts just playing the max distance game like an absolute legend. Not letting Zico bridge the gap here. Keeping him dotted up. Just one or two dots will do all the work Snuts needs. He does not need to overextend here. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this is like two, two gladiators going at it, man. These guys, they're oh, shouting. It's beautiful, dude. They're doing the dance. They're going back and forth. Perfect kiting. Snuts taking the pet in and out. This is a, this is a masterclass, man, on both ends. This fake from Snuts there on the counter spell. The blanket might have resisted. Snuts being able to successfully cast that fear. Although, Zico is going out of the dual range. I wonder if he's going to make it back in. It's, he's so far out. It looks like he will make it back in. Polymorph being casted. Drain mana from Snuts. And this is not what you want to see from the side of Zico. Snuts, full health, full mana. Zico on the run. There's the mana gem. The cold snap. One ice block remaining. Zico definitely on the back foot right now. Fell Hunter in hot pursuit. Ice barrier up. Snuts pushing his advantage the fell hunter devours a spell unfortunately not the ice barrier but the ice barrier breaks anyway so much damage from snot second resto pot used here it's going to dispel a magic uh, ability every five seconds grabs the nova it's really well played from snuts the spell lock comes in it acts as a blanket silence there on zico for three seconds the drain mana is ticking zico lower and lower and the last and final defensive cooldown from zico has been used that's the second ice block and keep in mind, none of these guys, neither of these guys have lost a duel in the entire tournament. They're undefeated today, obviously, but also in the qualifiers, they have not lost a single match. So this is huge, absolutely huge. One of the things that makes this matchup so difficult for Zico is not is so tanky. It's King oh! Charles. Snuts has done it. Fifty thousand dollars in the Makarot tournament. Look at his face. He's oh my gosh. He's so excited. Holy. Congratulations to Snuts. We're gonna have to grab him in here for an interview momentarily. What a moment. What a moment. That's incredible. Oh,
Well played to Zico as well, still securing himself that spot as the top mage, but just so well played here from both players. What a master class of a warlock from Snuts. The kites, the patience, the feldoms. It was just beautiful to see. Well played. Congratulations. And I think Ezfan is going to go out to the field momentarily to give uh, Snuts a congrats and a quick chat.